What if you had two barbarians that could hit as hard as three barbarians and could run as fast as a lumberjack? Mmm, it's an orange juice. They're harder, faster, and stronger. First unlocked in Rural Arena. Elite Barbarians have the exact move speed of a Lumberjack and the exact hit speed of Barbarians. They hit harder, but there are fewer of them. They have 3 quarters of the total DPS of Barbarians. Each swing deals more damage than a fireball to an arena tower. They're insanely fast and they're not hard to deal with if you're anticipating them, but they're way more threatening and should never be ignored. Barbarians planted in this position can block a hog and can completely shut it down from reaching your tower. Elite Barbarians can defend against the Hog, but with only two of them, they don't quite form a wall, and they deal a bit less damage, so the Hog will still get one hit on the tower. If they plant a Golem in the back with no building in the front, you can rush with an Elite Barbarians as long as they don't have counters like a Skeleton Army. If you split Archers first, then split Elite Barbarians behind them, they won't run in front of them, it'll just push the Archers to their death faster. Elite Barbarians also take care of tanks. They do a good job at stopping an incoming giant, then translates into a really fast counterattack. They're not quite as strong as Barbarians, but if you can afford some damage on your tower, they can take out a rural giant relatively well. Just like with regular Barbarians, they can take care of Sparky, provided that you surround them, in this case splitting them left and right. Fireball severely weakens Barbarians to a sliver of health, letting your tower pick them off one by one. With Elite Barbarians, since they're sturdier, Fireball doesn't quite do as much to them. They'll also survive Lightning. It does make sense to use Lightning if there's a third target such as an Arena Tower or Mega Minion nearby. On the same note, since Elite Barbarians do cost 6 Elixir, it absolutely makes sense to send in a Rocket if you don't have cheaper counters like Tombstone available. Fire Spirits have similar effect as Fireball. They can really hurt Barbarians. But they won't have as much impact on Elite Barbarians. Mega Minions can pick off Barbarians since they have such a slow move speed. But against Elite Barbarians, they're way too fast for the Mega Minion to pick off effectively. With an Ice Golem, it can kite a Lumberjack to its death. But against Elite Barbarians, they have way more health and damage which allows them to survive the kiting. Since Barbarians are already really slow, Ice Wizard takes care of the Barbarians. But Elite Barbarians are significantly faster so they're not as vulnerable to the slow of the Ice Wizard. The wizard just annihilates barbarians. They're so slow that the wizard just snipes at them from a distance, then walks away untouched. But against the elite barbarians, they charge right at them. He can manage to kill them, but he ends up dying as well. With the princess, she can chip away at barbarians as they waddle to their death, only dealing slight damage to the tower. With the elite barbs, they're so fast that one of them even runs out of range of her splash radius. They can rush the tower, just devastating it. Even though they look like Barbarians, they're completely different units with different counters. If your opponent rushes you with Elite Barbs, as long as they don't have the Log or a Zap, your Skeleton Army can easily distract them. Elite Barbarians can move very fast, but they're still going to attack as slow as regular Barbarians. Tombstone can shut them down really easily, especially with the Skeletons that it spawns. Regular Barbarians overall have a bit more health and total damage. Because of this, they're also effective at sweeping up Elite Barbarians. Archers can tank two swings each. If timed properly, pulling them to the center with archers can completely eliminate them. A musketeer does a decent job, though not as effective as the archers and at a slightly higher elixir cost. The bowler is quite a strong card, he does an excellent job of defending against elite barbarians. Minions and Mega Minion don't output enough damage to stop the elite barbarians, but Minion Horde dishes out just enough to stop them. As long as your opponent doesn't have arrows or rear splash units, you're good. Musketeers have a slow move speed, so splitting muskies in the back makes sense since you can accumulate elixir to support them. Since elite barbarians have a much faster move speed, when you plant them in the back, you won't have as much elixir to support them. They're very costly and very hard to snowball since they're so fast. A mega minion or archers in the back are much easier to snowball into a larger push since they're significantly faster. Overall, this is a card that deals relatively the same damage as Barbarians, can survive much better than Barbarians, and are much more threatening than a Lumberjack. You never want them to touch your tower, each swing dealing more damage than a Fireball. They are not a direct replacement for Lumberjack or Barbarians. They have their own unique role in the game. We found at Tournament Standard, they're a bit hard to use, but since they're common cards, it won't be too difficult to overlevel them. Perhaps they'll be more beneficial on Ladder where there's no level cap.
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ. Positive elixir trade. Positive elixir trade. Positive elixir trade.